Hi. We're on the test server, the new version of Hunting Grounds. I'm trying to understand this before it comes to the live server, and just by looking at this menu, I am already so confused. I'm using a jaw Fafnir because I saw a video of this build in Hunting Grounds, and it it is so good. Especially once the the neat guys start coming. Now in the menu, I saw they were like new, like spider thingies, and I don't know what what they do. Already dropping a bunch of guys. I'm using nuclear amp and repair amp on here because I think eventually we're just gonna be able to one shot these guys with these weapons once the new camp gets fully loaded. They're spotting on the roof now. Dead. Oh, gotta back up. <clears throat> That's done. I think this, the Zenit guys are gonna start coming now, right? They're spawning to the left and the right. Dead, dead. No, they're not here yet. Oh, one reload. Uh oh, that one dead. Yeah, we're getting close to being able to once have these guys. Oh, we got some behind me. This guys actually got pretty close. Did we just one tap that guy? <sighs> yeah, I'm a little sick right now. Oh, now we're one tapping them. Some of them. That's that wave. Now the Zenith should come right. Should spawn right in that corner. Where are you? There we go. So I'm gonna fly up now and just stay in the spot. Let them charge up my shield. And now look at this. Fafnir's breath. This is with a nerfed Fafnir. Imagine what an unnerfed Fafnir would be able to do to these guys. There's one under me. I can't get him. They have these green guys. I got an anti control on here so I don't get locked. Cause I think the ones that have like the venom weapons can lock you. <clears throat> Is that it? Let's land here and kill this last guy. Oh, that was not it. Oh god. And there's some Zenits. I'm flying up now. Oh, they're not charging me up. I guess they're on reload. Let's get rid of these green guys before they kill me. Well, they're not gonna kill me, but they could do quite a lot of damage. The neat dude, number one. Let's kill this dude first. All these ones on the roof. Let's ditch this bar and drop it with a Minos. I'm kind of curious how this is going to do because these weapons are really strong in PvP. But from what I've seen, the first clip, they don't seem that good in this mode. The Minos ability is doing a lot of damage though. And the splash of the weapons isn't too bad. Although I'm taking a lot of damage.
Yeah, there we go. They're doing a little better now. Let's use our ability. Take out some reflector. Keep dropping all these guys. Use our ability run. No, oh, we're not using the charge. Oh, there we go. If we used it earlier, we probably could have got some more kills. <clears throat> but it is what it is. We got the win, gold. Fafnir obviously did more damage. Now, I'm going to put Cinders on this Minos because, you know, Cinder Minos is, you know, for obvious reasons, Cinder Minos is pretty good. Um, let's go back to the hunting grounds thing. We're on stage two now. You got a different thing. Oh, we got rewards. We just press claim all. You know, that really isn't too bad. That's like a thousand gold and like seven or eight million silver. That's not too bad. All right, let's... Go into stage two. Once again, we're starting with the Fafnir, obviously, because this Fafnir build is actually really good for this game mode. Especially with the Armadillo, so we get more resistance. Alright, the Zenits are spawning, so we're gonna fly up now. I think. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna absorb some damage. Charge up the Fafnir shield. And we're gonna do a ton of damage to all these guys now. There's a lot of the dudes with the Venom, though. Oh, you got the Glacier Raker. I think it's kind of like a... Original idea, adding... You know how the, the the things can now suppress you with the raker. Although I'm not sure if the glacier. I think the glacier is a pretty decent idea for the weapons on the raker because, like, if you get within range, like you're probably gonna die. Because those glaciers and that glacier and those rhymes do a lot of damage, and those zenith supercharge this Fafnir up. We're doing a ton of damage. Let's see how much damage you do to this guy. Wow. This dude got dropped immediately. Oh, we got a bunch of dudes with Venom shooting at me now. Or the toxic weapons. I don't know if it's Venom. Got some behind me. <laughs> Dead. And you got those two over here. I kind of wish this Fafnir was a little faster. We could probably take... Actually, I'm not going to take it off. We need, like... Oh, yeah, there's the Glacier Raker. He suppressed us. Let's take out this dude as a neat. There we go. This dude. This one here. Those ones over there. The toxic weapons, they really aren't doing too much damage, which is good. Got another Raker Glacier. Doing pretty well. There's 
another raker. I think this is the third one. That raker's dead. Take out that guy. You gotta do with the toxic weapons. I actually got a couple of them. They're dead. And then you got this one dude with glacier. Or not glacier, is an eat. Laser down this guy. Dead. There we go. Yeah, that's it. We got, I don't know what we got, 84 kills. Mm. Although, why are we still on stage two? What? All right, whatever. Let's just let's just go in again. Maybe it's just a bug. Still using the Fafnir.
We got the W again pretty easily. Didn't drop below 150,000 HP on this Fafnir. Victory in this level will be counted only if you complete both stages together. What does that mean? I, I don't know what that means. Somebody please tell me what that means. Victory in this level will only be complete. Oh, maybe it's still a bug. I don't know. Let's try this again. Except this time we're going to start with the, the Mars. I'm not sure how this is going to do. I think it do pretty well because the turret is an area thing, I think, and so is the igniter. Hmm, excuse me. And you know, we're using the paralysis drone to lock him. I'm gonna try and stay in this one spot. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to move. Yep. These guys dead. Burn them up. Burn them up. What do I mean then? Remote assault getting the kill. There we go. F first wave done. You got the, the, the Zeni guy spawning all the way over there. It's kind of annoying. There's a raker, dude. Um, let's kill this guy. This one here. There's a raker dude behind me. I might actually die. By the way, they used to blow his rockets, thankfully. This one. Let's drop this guy. <laughs> drop the turret. I'm gonna run backwards. There's the raker dude. Taking a lot of damage now. Finish off this one. I'm gonna throw the turret over there. Maybe it'll be f close enough to start damaging this guy. Yeah, it is. I'm actually kill him. Yeah, it's gonna kill him. I'm also getting the kill. I'm gonna come to this side. Fire at him. The Venom dudes are already shooting at me. Come on. Oh, no more weapons are already lost. Not good. Oh, well, thankfully they do like no damage to my shield. Take out all these guys pretty easily. Drop the turret. Oh, oh my gosh. Yep, that's what I was talking about earlier. Let's use the Behemoth Glacier. This thing is so slow. And oh my gosh. Those glaciers do so much damage. Let's use this. Let's try the Seraph. Maybe I should be trying, like, the Talon. I think these weapons, these are the Talon ones. Yeah, maybe we should try Talon on the Behemoth instead of the Glacier. Or maybe, um, Avalanche, because Avalanche has, like, 600 meters range. We got this dude right here. I'm gonna fly up. Shoot all these guys with the... Seraph ability. I forgot what it was called for a second. Those Raker dude have those Raker dudes have a lot of health too. Oh my gosh, we're taking so much damage. Take out this guy. 
Let's drop in with the Minos. I'm gonna run in, roast up these guys. This one too, as this one. Got these three over here. Roast them up. Maybe I should drop in with the Minos earlier. Um, let's go to this one. This guy's closer. We don't have enough time to go to both. We might not even have enough time to kill this one. No, no way. Oh, man. Although, I think we got, like, I saw the diamond thing. So, like, victory in this level will be counted only if you complete both stages together. I don't know what that means. Somebody please tell me what that means. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. Well, I guess that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. And goodbye.